Venezuela. The motherland is strong, like the torrents of our great river. The motherland is constantly on the alert for greater and ever greater enterprises. Venezuela. A land of progress. Today, true to the tradition of deeds, not words, the Venezuelan people have laid the foundation for a future. A foundation based on a sound belief in the need for developing the country's resources in order to bring the greatest possible material and spiritual benefit to Venezuela's citizens. This super housing project at Cerro Piloto stands out boldly on the city's hills. A symbol of Venezuela's progress. Marcos Perez Jimenez has been the most responsible for rechanneling Venezuela's destiny. He personally took a leading part in this housing project, one of the boldest and most effectively executed public works in America. The government's achievements inspired individuals and business groups to follow its spirit of creative enterprise, with the result of simple and harmoniously constructed buildings such as these. At the same time, all of Venezuela was throbbing with a road-building project destined to modernize and bring closer together all her cities. By means of such projects, the capital city of Caracas in particular perfected its complicated system of streets and avenues, but not without difficult and expensive construction. Man and machine worked together on project after project, culminating in a road system that astonished foreigners and even the Venezuelans themselves. forces continue to play a fundamental part in bringing about the fulfillment of the national ideal of progress. President Eisenhower had this to say concerning the Venezuelan chief of state. His indefatigable energy and unity of purpose have done much to increase the capability of Venezuelan armed forces to participate in the collective defense of the Western Hemisphere. The Palo Negro Airport with its size and equipment is one of the best in America. Its elaborate equipment permits operation under any atmospheric condition. The fertile soil of the Portuguesa Plain was for centuries hidden beneath dense jungles. Today it is richly productive. Such lands require careful nurturing of the soil and a constant fight against pests and other natural hazards. Here vast acres are being harvested at the farm project of Turen. days of the harvest, there are scarcely enough great dryers and silos to move and process all grain. The tractor is an appropriate vehicle for getting to a picturesque country party. The European settlers and the Venezuelans together express their favorite music and dances. German settlers dance the polka with the fresh, natural grace to this musical and romantic people. As they dance the tarantella, Italian colonists evoke the spiritual climate of the Mediterranean. The dancing of the Aragonese or Jota well expresses the personality of the Spanish motherland.
To the rhythm of the Zarda, Hungarian girls bring to us the color of their favorite dance. And here we see all of them together. The Venezuelans and the European settlers dancing the Oropo. some of the vast oil wells, the income from which is being spent to bring about profound changes in all parts of the country. The productive mountain country is as yet untapped in its mineral riches. San Cristobal Electric Plant was constructed to supply light and power to every corner of the Republic. More telephones were needed and new exchanges set up. Venezuela gave a real impetus to public education by building numerous rural and consolidated schools. Here, the museum and library of Asuncion represents efforts to raise the cultural level in this most isolated part of the country. An orphanage and maternity hospital is an example of what has been done in these isolated provinces. The Western Medical Center in Caracas and the Medical Surgical Emergency Institute of Southwest Caracas and the Algodano National Tuberculosis Institute are other important contributions to the protection of human life. The beauty of the grounds and buildings of University City in Caracas is remarkable. Here, the clinical hospital of University City provides beds for 1,250 patients. Interior ranks among the finest in Latin America, a model of cleanliness and perfection. Animated by the president's dynamic spirit, the government has labored ceaselessly toward the realization of the new national ideal. This beautiful country with her modern cities, great rivers and plains, dense jungles and mysterious mountains will certainly assume an important place on future maps of the world. The quiet little chapel of Calvario stands perplexed before the busy world of today, a symbol of the Caracas of days gone by. And thus, the legacy of the liberators became a dynamic movement, which following in the steps of the conquest of the new national ideal is bringing about a complete accord between Venezuela of the present and Venezuela of the glorious past. Looking at the great reaches of the motherland spread out before us, ever more worthy of respect, ever more prosperous, ever stronger, we recall the words of the great liberator who thus prophesied the destiny of Venezuela. In the future, I see Venezuela sending to every corner of the earth the treasures of silver and gold hidden in her mountains. Then I see her spreading health and life by means of the divine curative plants to sick humanity in the old world. Now I see her confiding her precious secrets to sages who do not realize how superior is the total of this wisdom to all the riches with which nature has endowed her. Then I see her seated upon the throne of liberty with the scepter of justice clasped in her hand, crowned with glory, showing to the old world the majesty of the new.